Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to be going through all the different types of enemies in the game and talking about what kind of gear you can expect them to have and the best ways to counter them. I'll mostly be talking about their weapons and shields and stuff rather than armor because there's so much variability in the armor that there's not much point in anticipating a certain setup, and I also just think their weapons are more important. So to start, we've got civilians. These guys aren't too much trouble. They wear like regular clothes instead of armor, and they only use starting weapons, so they aren't very dangerous. They do use bucklers too, but you don't really have to worry about that you can pretty much use whatever you want to counter them or whatever you're stuck with considering you'll see these guys in the first few weeks next up we've got criminals so these guys are a little more dangerous than civilians they tend to have some kind of armor and pretty often they've got the more helmet which is actually a pretty good helmet they can use shields and seem to like the metal spiked ones for weapons they mostly use short swords but they might also use the rusty two-hander so you have to be a little careful with these guys because they can do some damage if you let them hit you in unarmored spots counter them again Again, you'll probably be stuck with starting weapons most of the time you face these guys, but look for their arms or legs as weak spots. Alright, now we're going to get into all the pit enemies, starting with pit slaves. These guys are usually not a concern because they don't really wear armor and they almost always have wooden weapons. They can sometimes have falchions though, which can do some damage, so watch out for those. Again, no real counters to these guys, you can just kind of kill them however you want. Pit Macemen. These guys are a little more dangerous. They tend to have some armor and they might use a mace with or without a shield or a two-handed weapon like the Slaver Club. All their weapons are capable of dealing good damage, so you should try to keep your distance from these guys. The shields they use aren't very big, so you shouldn't have to worry too much about them. A long weapon will be useful to outrange these guys, but pretty much anything will do. Next we have Pit Spearmen. These guys are similar to Macemen, they just use spears instead. You'll mostly see them with bronze tridents and throwing spears, but they can also have a Borstaka, so be careful around them. If they do have a throwing spear, try to get them to break it as soon as you can. If they have shields, they aren't very big ones either, so they aren't really a problem. You'll just want to get close to these guys to make it awkward for their spear, and then you can hit them with whatever you got. Hit Flailmen, you guessed it, they use flails. They're pretty much the same equipment-wise as the last two, but they only use flails and shields. That does make them dangerous, so good shield or armor will help against them, but otherwise I'd say treat them like macemen, try to keep some distance, and hit them. Alright, next are Pit Shield Breakers, and these guys are pretty dangerous for the early game. They tend to have a bit of armor, and sometimes have really good armor on their arms. If you get lucky, they'll have a basic pick or a basic chaka, and if you don't, they could have a spiked mala or a morg mala. If they do have a one-handed weapon, they can have shields too, so there isn't too much to plan for with these guys since it could be anything really. Still, they usually have some unarmored weak spots, so look for those, and they don't have the longest weapons, so if you can outrange them, that'll work. Next are Pit Barbarians, which are pretty similar to Shield Breakers. Again, these guys will probably have some armor and can have a weapon with a shield or a two-hander. They like to use the Splitter Chaka, so don't get your shield broken. They also use the Flathead Staka, so if they've got one of those two-handers, hopefully their arms aren't armored and you can beat up on them. And finally, we've got the Pit Boss. These guys are like Shield Breakers and Barbarians, but better. They'll have some armor and they have really good weapons. Spike Malas, Morg Mala, Hammer, Bardish, even the Double chaka so be careful with that like the others their arms are exposed when they're using those two handers so take advantage of that they also tend to have bare chests so if that's the case you can stab them pretty well next up we've got the first aspirant variant the worthy aspirant these guys are impossible to plan for because they can have literally anything they do tend to use lower level stuff and aren't fully armored so you'll be able to identify a weak spot when you see them but before then there isn't much to do a couple unique enemies before we get to the next category Lion Slayers usually have some armor, but can have bare chests. They'll always have a helmet and a trident. Sometimes they don't have shields, but usually they'll have a sphera or a leather square shield. You can get close and beat them up, or fight with a spear, ideally a longer one. Executors are simple, they'll always have the same kind of Urukai looking helmet, the same armor, and a two-hander. You can hit these guys a few times in the arms and they'll die. So next are the Owakans, starting with the Blademen. These guys wear light armor, and they'll often be using a shield with a sword, like really most of the time, but they can also have a two-hander instead. Their shields are pretty big too, they use the oval ones, so you're going to want something that can either go around or through them. Spears are always good, if you don't have one, then axes are good too. The other Owakan you'll see usually alongside the Blademen are the Guardians, so these guys are nice, they only ever use two-handers. They might have armor, or they might not really, which can make it really easy to kill them with a spear by just poking their weak spots while they can't even reach you. If you have to get close, be careful because they use the Tradaka, the Feradaka, and the two-handed Talisdaka, which all do a lot of damage. The last Awakan, which doesn't show up till a bit later, is the Awakan Elder. 
These guys tend to have decent armor and will only ever use a Talisdaka or a Hanian Staka with a medium round shield. So either way, you'll want to be able to get close and crowd them if they have the spear, and you'll fight them straight up if they have the Talisdaka. These shields still aren't too much trouble either, so you see here I pretty much go every way on this guy around his shield. So use whatever you like, but try not to get hit because they do lots of damage. Alright, the next few enemies are the Lafosi. So starting with the Lafosi warriors, these guys are also really straightforward. They only ever use the Gathildaka and they tend not to have too much armor. They're kind of glass cannons that way because the Gathildaka can do crazy damage and they tend to really whip it around, but you'll always be able to hit some weak spots on these guys, so if you've got a spear, great, just poke them to death, otherwise wait for your windows and hit those weak spots. Lofosi's slaves are next. They'll only ever use either a Hanian or a Borstaka with a medium round shield. They wear pretty decent armor too, so to counter these guys there's really no outranging them since they use the Hanian Staka more often. So you can try just fighting them with a spear or you can use something else and stay close. Again, the shield isn't too much trouble and you should be able to swing over or around it with most weapons. The Lofosi champion, like the Awakan Elder, doesn't show up till later. These guys tend to have some decent armor on but usually aren't fully armored. For weapons, they'll either use an Iron Kappa or a Talisdaka with a shield, or they'll use the Double Chaka. I'd say they tend to use the sword and shield often enough that you can expect it. The shields they use are the medium round shields, the Spera, and the other square shields, so none of those are too hard to get past. A spear will work against any setup, otherwise a two-hander isn't a bad option. Next are the Linoleons. The first of them is just the Linoleon, and these guys tend to have some armor. They'll always have a helmet, that's true for all Linoleons, but they also might not have much armor, so look for weak spots. For weapons, these guys always use a sword and a shield. They use the medium round shields, the leather square shield and the linoleum shield so none of those are too bad. A spear or a two-hander will kill them nicely. Alright, linoleum spearmen. I don't know about you guys but these assholes have ended many a run for me. Like the linoleum, they can have more or less armor but they'll always use a spear instead, usually the feridaka but also the hanian staka. They often use the same shields as the linoleum too but they also might not have a shield. Be careful with these guys because the feridaka, as I'm sure you know, can really mess you up. You'll want to get close and counter them like with other spearmen, though fighting them them straight up with a spear works too. Linoleon veterans, these guys are kind of a combination of the first two. They'll typically have more armor than the spearmen, and they either use ferrodakas or regular dakas with or without a shield. Obviously, these weapons are pretty different from each other, but the ferrodaka is way more dangerous, so plan for that. Basically, treat these guys like the spearmen. And finally, Linoleon Legends. These guys are better veterans. They've usually got more armor, and they use the same weapon combinations, except they can also use the gathildaka. Again, I just treat them like the spearmen and the veterans. Up next are Meridonians, and although there are a bunch of types, these guys all use shields all the time, so remember that. If he's Myrodonian, he'll have a shield. So starting with the Myrodon Infantry, these guys wear light armor and use the Myrodon Mala, Chaka, and the Iron Claw. The Iron Claw is a pain to block and it does lots of damage, so try to dodge that. The other two are still pretty dangerous too, so make sure you at least have a shield if not some armor. These guys like to use the big oval shield, but they might have the Myrodon Arm Guard instead. I'd plan for the oval shield, and really the Great Chaka would be perfect to swing around the shield or just break it with these guys but any axe can break an oval shield pretty easily and they're good for going over too. The Myrodon Man-at-Arms, these guys are essentially a direct upgrade from the infantry. They have literally all the same equipment, they just wear heavier armor. There's also the Myrodon Flailmen. These guys look just like the infantry, they just use flails instead of the other stuff. They also tend to have smaller shields than the infantry, so anything will work against these guys. And then we have the actual Meridonian enemy. They'll always have the Meridonian helmet on, and they might have more or less armor. They often have bare chests, so that's a big weak spot, obviously. They mostly use swords, including the Puku pretty often, so that's really not too dangerous. They also use the Sphera and the Leather Square Shield, so those aren't too bad. But they can use the big round shields too, so against that you'll want something that's really good at going over shields like a spear or the great chaka, the hammer, axes, and so on. Next we've got the professional aspirants who are like the worthy aspirants. They use everything. These guys just use higher level stuff than them and will probably have more armor. So the last category is the Hanians, starting with the Hanian Levy. These guys are simple, they'll always have lighter armor and a sword or a Hanian Staka to go with their tower shield. Now the tower shield's a big shield, but it doesn't cover the head too much and these guys don't have strong armor on their head. So your best bet is to swing over the shield with an axe or something, or go with the spear poke. 
Hanian soldiers are like more heavily armored levies, same weapons and shields too, except they also use the Bardish sometimes. So treat these guys like levies, but don't be surprised if you see the Bardish. It isn't the longest two-hander, so it shouldn't give you too much trouble even if you were planning on fighting against a shield. The Hanian captains are very straightforward, they'll always have really heavy armor and a two-hander. These guys are pretty much the heaviest armor non-aspirant enemies in the game, so weapons that ignore 25% of armor are great. These guys probably feel really dumb for wearing all that when they get smacked with a hammer, and you can always pop their helmet off and hit their heads as well. Hanian commanders, these guys are like the captains, except they use swords or Myrodin chakas with a tower shield too, so they're not as easy to plan for. Again, the hammer bullies them, otherwise anything good for shields will do. And last but not least, we've got the Aspired. These are the highest level Aspired you'll see, and like the others, they use everything, and for them, that means all the best gear in the game. If they use shields, it's the big round ones, so prepare for that. And if they have a two-hander instead, just hit their arms or head until their armor breaks, or use the hammer and murder them real quick. And that's that. Hopefully this helps you keep track of who's who a little bit. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time.